Okay, this next video is going to take you through a couple of the flashing options. Um, you should have seen the continuous flashing in the uh, insert coin and press start uh, system that was in the demo. Let me just get rid of all this scaling rubbish. I'm going to carry on with that ball sprite thing. So, in order to use the timer system, we need to initialize it. So, we initialize the timer system, then we can say s.timer. Dot. And then we can look at some of these different flashing ones. So I'm going to do a flash after. Um, and this allows us to show a sprite normally and then after a certain number of seconds flash it. So I'm going to say after 5 seconds flash 0.6f, 0.3f. Okay, so it'll be on screen for 6 six tenths of a second off screen for three tenths but it'll do it after five seconds so let's watch the effect of that so they should be solid on screen to start with um, and then after five seconds bit jerky again because the video start flashing okay that, that's quite a good one um, let's have a look at what other ones we've got Again, you're going to have to play with some of these. So I'm going to do flash after, kill after. So what this allows me to do is after so many seconds, show a, a start a sprite flashing. So I'm going to say not point, not point here. So I'm just going to have it on and off screen. Oh, been a div not reading me on parameters. So again, look at the parameters. So it says float start after, so that's five seconds, kill after. So once it's started flashing, how long do you want it to go before it dies? So I'm going to leave it for 10 seconds then I'm going to kill the sprites and then I set my on off duration so read this little helper thing that's appearing okay so don't, don't be going oh what do I put what do I put read it it says how many seconds to hide on screen during flashing so I'm just going to leave it as that okay so this should show normally for five seconds then it'll start flashing then after ten seconds of flashing they will die and you might think, well, what's that useful for? Well, this is the standard way of showing um, player pickups. You show it on screen, and then after a while, you say, well, actually, mate, you better get hold of this. And we flash to say, oh, look, it's going to go, it's going to go, it's going to go. Um, and then they've gone, they've gone. Okay, so I'll look at a, another couple. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Show after, that's quite an handy one. So we can show a sprite. Let's, let's do. Let's do it after five seconds. Keep using five. Obviously, my favourite number. So they will not be visible to start with, and then five seconds later, they'll all show. What I'll do in a sec is I'll change that to a random number. So all of a sudden, they're all going to appear. Oh, there they are. Right. Let's just do something interesting and change that to a random number. So if we Create a random number generator. Random oh, equals new random. And we in here can then say r dot next. And not to let's do ten. So not to ten seconds. From that. So it'll appear at random times effectively. You would hope anyway. They might all appear at the same time, actually, for a specific reason. Yeah, I've been a bit thick. Um, what happens when you create a random number generator is they're, not, they're called pseudo random numbers, and pseudo random numbers will produce the same list of random numbers each time they're created. Um, so what we need to do is we need to create a random number generator outside of this subroutine. So I'm going to create one here. So I'm going to call this random. I'm going to call it nr equals new random. Okay, so I've just created it above this subroutine, not inside a subroutine. I can use that now throughout my entire program because it's global. So I can say next, not to 10. Now this time, it will be the same random number generator, so it'll generate me a different number in the sequence. So they should all appear at different times this time. And if it doesn't, I'll eat me out. Which I haven't got an app. There you go. So they're all appearing random times. 
that's quite nice if you want to um, create a load of enemies all at the same time using a loop um, and then have them come on and scare the user the player if you well I find that quite scary actually it's quite disturbing to see these coloured glassy balls appearing I'm rambling but there you go um, so that that's actually quite quite good that it's if you ever use the typewriter text mode it's how I actually make the typewriter text work it's quite clever I think um, another one that I'll show you is um, stop after okay so this flashes the sprite to start with and then and it's the usual on and off timings so after five seconds these will stop flashing so let's watch that other ones I'll leave the other ones for you to mess about with and have a play with so they're flashing and then they'll all go solid there you go so that's um, let's do it a bit faster than that and then I'll explain what sort of effect that can be used for so let's do tenth of a second on and off you might have already guessed what you could use it for let's do it a bit quicker than that so let's do oops that number does not make sense so 50 times a second okay so it's going to be on for 150 of a second and then off again so it's going to flash really quick really quick flashing and then after five seconds it'll go solid now you can use that effect for when someone's invincible Okay, so that's a, a classic way of doing that, but that's probably a bit too fast, so let's make it 20ths of seconds, so 5%. Because it did look a bit naff, to be honest. Yeah, that's a bit more. So that, that's a standard way that we, we show invincibility by flashing you. Okay, so that, that's enough time of things, you just need to have a play. <laughs> 